The southwest of Scotland is littered with countless uh, monuments and graves to the Covenanters. They're all over Scotland really, but the southwest has a particularly high um, concentration of them. We're in Blackwood in South Lanarkshire, and I want to tell you about a man called John Brown. John Brown worked on the Blackwood estate, which was a large, ma large uh, mansion house here. The owner of the estate was a man called William Laurie. William Laurie was actually in prison uh, for assisting Covenanters. John Brown continued to work on his estate. John Brown himself was a Covenanter. A man called Lieutenant Murray was passing through here in March 1685 when he came across um, John Brown. He stopped and questioned him. Obviously the questions weren't satisfying, so he arrested him, promised him quarter, told him he would have a fair trial. But for some reason, known only to Murray, he decided it wasn't worth his time and effort to, to uh, take him back. So he just ordered that he be shot and his body left at the side of the road. And that's exactly what happened. His dragoons shot him and just left the body at the side of the road. He now lies buried um, just exactly where he's fell. Some of his friends came at night time and buried him. The front of the grave reads, Here lies the corpse of John Brown, who was shot to death without shadow of law, Anno Domini 1685. And on the back, Murray might murder such a godly Brown, but could not rob him of that glorious crown. He now enjoys his credit, not his crime, was non-compliance with a wicked time. His grave is actually in a private garden, so please seek permission if you're going to come in and see it. You can't just wander on here. But there was nothing glorious about his death. There was no great speech that he could give to large crowds before he was executed. It was just simply a bullet through the head. And sadly that was a way for many of the, the Covenanters, if not most of them. Uh, there was just shot through the head and the bodies left at the side of the road for their friends to come and bury later. But we have to be thankful for the sacrifice of people like John Brown and the other Covenanters. Because of their steadfastness and their faith, uh, we have the freedom in Scotland today to, to worship um, as we see how God's word tells us to worship. And that freedom also was exported throughout the world. And so we have a, a great debt to people like John Brown and the rest of the Covenanters and a duty to keep their stories and their memories alive.